Good evening, everybody. How are you today? It's good to have you here in class. Welcome to uh, Nicole, Janari, Joao, Luis, Raquel. It's a pleasure to have you here in class. Today we are going to continue with the section number uh, two to finish and then start section number three. So um, I would like to share with you the platform view so you can know where, what, which part we are going to finish today. So I would like that you can confirm if you can watch my screen. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Morenita. <laughs> I was saying Nicole. It's, it's a beautiful girl, right? Thank you, Morenita. Okay, um, let's see. We are now working with a 2.10 lesson objective that says that by the end of this class, you will develop uh, skills in scanning, right? Scanning and reading for details. Uh, previously, last night, let me see. Last night we worked, okay. Uh, let me, let me go back a little bit. Um, the exercise 2.9, I want to show you how it finished, right? We have, excuse me here. Uh, number one, for example, it says, uh, I have some chairs in the kitchen. So letter B is, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Remember that when we study there is and there are, we express the existence of something, right? You can say, I have some chairs in the kitchen, but also you can say, there are some chairs in the kitchen, right? So that's the, basically the answer to the 2.9 knowledge check that was pending from last night. Uh, so the next part is, um, I don't have curtains. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the second one. Uh, I have a stove in the kitchen, right? So when I use there is, there are, uh, if I see that it's only one stove, it's a singular, right? So there's a stove in the kitchen. Number three, I don't have a refrigerator. So it means that there are no, right? Refrigerator is singular. So I say there's no refrigerator. And the number four, I don't have curtains on the windows. Uh, so curtains is plural. So you use there are. So you say there are no curtains on the window. So that's the solution for the exercise about there is and there are that we studied last night. And for today, we are going to continue with the 2.10 lesson objective that, that I already uh, read for you. And here uh, in the platform, basically you will find in the 2.11, an article that says reading, two special houses. So you will uh, read two short stories about two houses and what uh, are inside. So what there is and there are in each house. So uh, I want just to show you the reading and I'm going to expand my view. So we are talking about a house in San Antonio, Texas. It says in San Antonio, Texas, there's a, a purple house. The house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Remember that house is the infrastructure, the walls, the roof, and all the external parts, parts that we learn in the vocabulary. But the home, it means the place where the family lives. So it's something more related to the family, more than the building itself. So this house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' uh, house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, uh, but Mrs. Cisneros love it. So we are describing what there is and there are inside the house of uh, Mrs. Cisneros. The second house is, uh, it says, every year many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. 
Uh, so it says that Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, uh, invites visitors to stay in her uh, organ, right? It has three chairs, um, two beds on the floor, and a, and a wood burning stove. Wood burning stove means, uh, which is a, for making the fire, but in a very traditional way. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guest about Native American traditions. So those are the two special houses we have here in the reading. And uh, let's see, we have the first description for Sandra Cisneros house. And you say there is, you can see, for example, there is a porch with a pink floor. You can write it with small letters or you can write with capital letters. There are the possible answers, colorful paintings, plural, right? There are colorful paintings and you can write it with the small letters or capital letters all in this, in this uh, answer. In the number three, it says there are, you can say many books and you can write in small letters and also capital letters. For letter B, Lorraine Nelson's house, you can say there is in the possible answer, answer, good burning stove. And you can write it again as a, in small letters or in capital letters. There are, you say there are three chairs or three chairs with capital letters. And finally, the third answer is two beds in the floor. And you can write again, small letters or capital letters. So, uh, that's the, the exercise, the knowledge check to finish the section number two. So for today, we are going to advance with the 3.0 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. So that's what we are going to do tonight. And in the platform, you can find the 3.1 jobs, vocabulary and activities. So you can play, you can watch, you can listen, and you can repeat the vocabulary you can find there in order to improve your pronunciation, to expand your vocabulary, and also to feel more comfortable by practicing the new vocabulary you can find there. So um, we are going to solve a knowledge check we have there. But um, this is going to be a little bit later. By now, I think that I'm going to stop sharing. And um, let's see. I'm going to work with my presentation. And later, I'm going to go back for the exercise. So I want you to please confirm if you, if you can watch my screen. My new screen? Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going yes, to... Teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you for confirming. I'm going to expand my view in order that you can watch it a little bit uh, bigger, the, the letters, because they are cap uh, small letters, not capitals. So for the job vocabulary, we have, for example, for example, number one is an office worker. Number uh, two is a computer programmer. Three, veterinarian. Four, street vendor. Five, factory worker. Uh, six, politician. Uh, tour guide. Entrepreneur. Ballet dancer. Astronaut. Minor. Teacher. Real estate agent. Bellboy. Gas station attendant. Judge. Customs officer. Customs is the aduana, right? Lawyer, we have lawyer, cashier, taxi driver, speaker, delivery man, butcher, pharmacist, receptionist, plumber, musician, chef, baker, and artist. If you see all of them, some of them are professions, some of them are occupations, but all of them are part of job vocabulary. Here have more. We have a waiter, we have a paramedic, we have a dentist, a train conductor, a nurse, an electrician, a doctor, a businessman, an American football player, 
student, surgeon, doorman, secretary, soldier, repairman, scientist, reporter, construction worker, professor, police officer, postman, photographer, pilot, Catholic nun, painter, mechanic, magician, lifeguard, lunchroom supervisor, clown, housekeeper, gardener, geisha, footballer, forest ranger, builder, foreman, I mean, yeah, a farmer, flight attendant, fireman, engineer, carpenter, and architect. So now let's practice. I can say, a teacher works in a school, a police office guides the traffic, a veterinarian works with pets, a dentist works in a clinic, a doctor checks patients, a chef cooks delicious meals. And I can say, she's my friend Roxana, she works at Torogos, she's a designer. So, if you see, when I'm talking about a, about a third person, I always follow the rule, of adding the letter S when I'm talking about he, she, or it. But in this case, uh, we are going to talk about people. So he, she, I add uh, the S to the third person singular verb. So a teacher works, a police office guides, a veterinarian works, a dentist works, a doctor checks, a chef cooks. And when I'm talking about she, I say she works at. So I can say, my name is Patricia. I work at Coca-Cola, just for saying a name, or I can say, I work at Inglés Corporativo. Uh, I work in the production department. I supervise soft drinks production. I supervise staff, right? So if you see, I use the preposition at to name the place where I work because it's the name of the company. And then I say in when I, I'm going to be more specific and talk about the department where I work at. And I say I work for Mr. Sign. So I say I use the preposition for when I'm uh, saying the name of my supervisor or the company owner. And then I say I am a customer service agent. I work as a system. I do designs, etc. So uh, for this part of the, of the class, I would like to have that, I would like that every one of you can say, my name is, I work at, if you know the name of your department, or if it, you can say it, no matter if in Spanish or in English, I, I'm, I know that uh, it's something new for us. You can say, I work in, and then you can say what you do, right? So who wants to start? Let's see, let's see, volunteers. I have the on the on the window, so it's easy for you. Hey, teacher. Okay, okay. please. Uh, and then Janari and then Morena. Or, or Morena and then Janari. I don't know who. I think that Morena. Okay, Morena. <laughs> Morena and then Janari. Okay, go, go ahead. Please. Okay, my name is Morena. Okay. I work at Inversiones Simco. Mm -hmm. I work in uh, account receivables. Yeah. I supervise the uh, the incomes. Mm -hmm. uh, I supervise staff. I have two persons. You supervise two persons, okay? Perfect. Yes. Yes. I work for. Uh, Sim car. Mm -hmm. This is la the, the, the corporation. Uh -huh. I am a customer service. Uh, some people because I trade with the customers. Mm, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Very yes. good. Thank you. Thank you very much okay. for sharing, Morenita. That has been a good exercise. Okay, Janari, would you like to continue? Okay, teacher. I'm ayuda. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, my name is Janari. Mm -hmm. I work at uh, Impersaca. Mm -hmm. I work in accountant department. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm general account mm -hmm. and I have two, three people, three people, some people uh, uh, supervising. You you supervise. You can say I supervise yes. Yes. two two persons or two two staff. Three, three persons. Three, three persons. Person. Three staff. I supervise two. Yes. Okay. I work for uh, Mr. Uh, Saka. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm contabilista. ¿Cómo puedo decir? <laughs> perdón. Contabilista. I am the accounts uh, manager or the or the accounts coordinator, uh, accounting in uh, este caso, the la de las cuentas. The, um, the general, general accountant account. of the company. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear Janari. So, who wants to continue? Voluntarily. If not, I will start saying you, 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 you. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's continue in the order we are. Uh, Luis de Leon, would you like to continue in introducing yourself and saying I work at and I work in and so on? Okay, teacher. Please. My name is Luis de Leon. I work uh, at a group of Q. I mm -hmm. work in the payroll department. department. Mm -hmm. Uh, I work for uh, Mr. Quiroz. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's very nice, very short and concrete. Thank you very much, Luis. Uh, thank you for sharing. Okay, Vladimir, would you like to continue, my dear Vladimir? Uh, hi, teacher. Yes. Um, I, I work at uh, this hotel El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I work in the, the customer service agent. Agent? As a okay. customer service agent. Uh, agent. Yeah. Um, um, pardon, pardon. <laughs> Don't worry about I understand. Okay. Se le puso mute. Ahí está Vladimir. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. Uh, okay. You said you work as a customer service agent in uh, the department. It's maybe customer service, right? Yes. Uh, I supervise. Supervise. Uh, supervise the. ¿Cómo se puede decir um, a un cliente en específico? Uh, I supervise uh, a client account. La cuenta de un cliente, a specific okay. client account. Uh, a client account. An, an a specific client specific account. Client account. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I supervise. Um, supervise. 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 Mm -hmm. um, the, okay. An a specific client account. An specific client. Client account. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Excellent. I, I yeah. word as uh, the demás. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Sims? Ah, it's the name of your supervisor. Only, otra, only if you want to say, but don't ah. worry about it. Okay. okay, thank you, Vladimir. Thank you for, for uh, telling and sharing with us. Eli, Eli Ayala, would you like to continue, please? Hola. Hello, Eli. We can hear you perfectly. Hello. 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 Uh, my name is Elizabeth. I work at the Sabor Amigo. Mm -hmm. I work. I work in contabilidad. Account, uh, uh, account account accountancy department. Accountancy department. I am. Uh, I, ¿qué más? I solamente. Ok, don't worry about it. It's ok. Thank you. Pero, pero, ¿qué quería decir? Dígame en español y yo le ayudo con mucho gusto. Um, eh, quería decir que hago balance y todo eso. Ah, ok. You can say I do the uh, accountants uh, and balance reports every month. 
and sí, all esa. the accountancy and all the accountancy reports. Yeah, for example. Yes. And then when you say I do all the accountancy reports, we understand that is everything that you have to manage for the accountancy in a company, right? Yes. Okay, Eli. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Raquelita Lopez. Hi. Hi, Raquelita. Could you please share with us? Okay. My name is Raquel. I work at Digicel. I work in the contact center. Mm -hmm. And I am part of the, in the workforce management. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Raquel. Joao Portillo, would you like to continue? Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear Joao. Um, uh, my name is Joao. I work at the Industrias Grava Blog. Mm -hmm. I work in the, uh, ¿cómo puedo decir? Como atender personal. Eh, como in the, ah, eh, ese es customer service. Si son clientes, es customer service. Custo, uh, yeah, customer I service. I work in the agent. customer service. Mm -hmm. Y I supervise uh, the three person. Three persons? Uh, right. Thank you. Sí, okay. three persons. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Monica. Monica, are you there, my dear? You were raising hands. Uh, hello, my hello, name Monica. is Monica. Mm -hmm. I work in the Association of Municipalities. Mm -hmm. Work in the tourism area. Yeah. yeah. In the charge of projects monitoring. Monitoring projects, right? Monitoring projects. Okay, excellent. That's a good. That's a good sector. I like tourism. It's a very nice uh, uh, way to work. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Victor Martinez. Would you like to continue? Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Victor. Uh, my name is Victor. I work at B3. Mm -hmm. I work in the paint department. Yeah. I supervise for people. I work more. Uh, I work. Mr. Cortez. For Mr. Cortez. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I am a supervisor of paint area. Oh, excellent. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Okay, You're let's welcome. see. Uh, Ramiro, I don't know if Ramiro has already participated. Okay, I'm ready. My Hello. name is Ramiro. Mm -hmm. I work at Technologies mm -hmm. in Development Department. Mm -hmm. I develop software for computers. Wow. But I do not supervise anyone. Mm -hmm. I work for Mr. Garcia. Yeah. I am a software developer and my profession is system engineer. Wow, excellent. I work okay. as consultant for some industries. And I do systems analysis too. Excellent. Very good. A very wide area to work. Interesting also. Thank you, Ramiro, for sharing. Miguel Lara, Thank would you. you like to continue? Hello. Hello, Miguel. My name is Miguel Lara. I work at Mili Concert Service Center. I work in Treasury Department. Mm -hmm. I analyst of payment. I work for Mr. Pastor. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you. Carlos, uh, would you like to continue, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Please. My name is Carlos. I work at Yuma. I work in the sport department. I supervise things. I supervise the sport department. I work for Mr. Linares. Excellent. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you very much for sharing. You're welcome. You're, let's see, Vicky, would you like to continue, Vicky? Yes, teacher. Okay. My name is Vicky. I work at Inversiones Cinco. I work in director department. Mm -hmm. And I work as assistant. As assistant. Mm -hmm. Assistant. Mm -hmm. Assistant. I do reports and others. Excellent. Very good, Vicky. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I think that Vladimir already participated. Let's see. Natalia? Nati? I don't know. Yes, Nat teacher. Okay, please. Uh, 
My name is Natalia. I work at Kinder El Arcol de Dios. I work in early stimulation oh. and I stimulate the gross motor area of children and my students are between one and two years old. Oh, cute, so lovely. <laughs> I like it, I love it. Thank you, Nati. Okay, Thank Adonai, you. Adonai Portillo. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, my dear, good evening. Okay, my name is Adonai. I work mm -hmm. at Digital. I work in the contact center. I am a team leader. I supervise all the operation about the contact center and technical support. That's it. Excellent. Thank you, Adonai. Very good. Uh, let's see, Tania. Would you like to continue, my dear? Hello, my name Hello. is Tania. I go in Kinder El Arbol de Dios. I go in, ¿cómo se dice? Inicial 3. Uh, you can say beginners three or you can say K3. For example, uh, for the initial school, they say K4, uh, uh, you can say newborns, los recién nacidos, you can say nursery, you can say um, uh -huh. K1, K2, K3, and K4. So you can say I work for K3 uh, or nursery uh -huh. three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Nursery three. Oh. El teacher te va a ocupar eh, kindergarten en, en kinder 3, o sea, para decir inicial 3. Uh -huh. eh, es, fíjese que depende, perdón, lo voy a decir en español, depende de las uh -huh. edades, porque cuando están bebecitos, si es una guardería, son los newborns y de ahí eh, va el, el nursery, ¿verdad? El nursery 2. Uh -huh dos años, nursery, three, tres años. De ahí cuando, uh -huh. incluso en algunos casos, cuando ya llegan al, al kinder cuatro, ya le llaman K4, K5, uh -huh. and then eh, they go to the eh, preparatory, and then they go to first grade, right? But it okay. depends, it depends on the, on the study center, depende del centro de estudios, cómo lo va a nominar, pero normalmente esas edades chiquititos hasta los tres es nursery. Nursery. Mm -hmm. okay. Y ya del yeah. kinder 4 es que le llaman K4. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome, Tania. Cindy, okay. would you like to continue? Um, my name is Cindy. Mm -hmm. I work at Andra Deportillo. I work in the accounting department. Mm -hmm. I supervise customer accounting. Yeah. I supervise two people. Yeah. I work with Mr. Andrade. Excellent. Uh, very good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Cindy. Abdul, would you like to continue, Abdul? Good night. Good night. Good evening. My name is Abdul Gonzalez. I work at Tigo El Salvador. Mm -hmm. I am a customer service agent. Mm -hmm. um, but emergency, 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 I am, emergency, mm -hmm. I am office support. Okay, uh, office you. support. Thank you. Okay, very yes. good. So let's see who's missing, my dears. I am not sure because I was following my list. So uh, I, according to me, all of you have already participated, but please feel free to tell me, teacher, uh, to say, teacher, I have not participated yet. Is everybody already participating? Okay, I think yes. <laughs> okay, listen, uh, what I have tried to elicit with this practice is that you can use the professions uh, and occupations in order to say your own profession, your own occupation, and to say the place where you work, the department you work in the name of your supervisor. Uh, I have here a conversation that it's going to be included in the extra materials you will receive. And there's a conversation between Kevin and Ali. Kevin says, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? And Ali says, yes, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? He's asking. And she says, I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. 
I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant, by the way. I'm Kevin, and they start and continue the conversation. So um, the idea of this uh, lesson is that you can expand your vocabulary about occupations, but most important is that you, as you did, and I congratulate you because you did in a very good way, you can express what you do, what is your profession, where do you work, and what you do. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to close this part of the class about a uh, vocabulary for occupations. And then I'm going to continue with the WH questions because we need to advance a little bit. Um, we are going, we expect to finish um, our uh, section number three tomorrow. And I'm going to do my best in order that we can look for the midterm exam, right? Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm a little bit faster, but I'm happy that you are following uh, the, this rhythm of work for this week. So um, I would like to ask, can you watch my screen now? Yes, Na sure. Natalia, yes. Natalia, okay, thank you. Natalia, uh, tell me, I see your hand. Teacher, right. yes, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, se lo voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo se sabe en inglés. Don't worry. Okay. <ríe> eh, cuando estaba haciendo la parte de las profesiones, uh -huh. en el video decía, por ejemplo, eh, él es un doctor, el, el doctor trabaja, perdón, en un hospital, el doctor trabaja duro o, o pesado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero cuando yo quise conjugar uno, por ejemplo, puse eh, a seis person work in a store. Y puse eh, a seis person works, talks, van los dos verbos con la S o, o solo va uno. Eh, vamos sea... a, perdón, voy a, voy a regresar. Sí, gracias por recordarme. Fíjense que ya me estaba yendo sin, sin ver esa parte de, del knowledge check. Ahorita vamos a regresar. Solo déjeme ir acá. Porque recuerdo que les dije que íbamos a regresar al, ahí está. Déjenme ver. Sí, ahí está. Es esta parte, ¿verdad? En la parte de, del video, lo que uno tiene que, que, que completar en el, en el, cómo escribir en el post, vea, en, en la conversación. Eh, Entonces ahí daba varias opciones, como decía, por ejemplo, trabaja todo el día hablando con las personas, pero habían dos verbos, works. Y talks, eh, pero de, mi pregunta es, ¿lo topan con la S porque estamos sí, hablando en tercera persona sí, o hay eh, alguna variante? No, ninguna. Si estamos hablando ah. de tercera persona, en todos los casos va con S. Solamente que habría que ver porque no creo que tenga que usar dos verbos en una misma oración. Ajá, ajá, Entonces ajá, tiene, ajá. Que, tiene que valorar cuál es el que más aplica, si works ah, o talks. Pero en ah, todos okay. los casos es works o talks. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Okay, thank excellent. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, pero uh, gracias. Thank you, Nati, because you remind me that I have I have to come back here. Okay, so here it says, look at the picture and answer correctly about the profession of each uh, person. Hey, sure. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, tell me, Ramit. En el ejemplo que ella dice, no puede ser works talking, que trabaja hablando. Lo que pasa es que lo que está evaluando es la tercera persona del presente simple. Entonces hay que ver qué, qué exactamente está evaluando, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. si está evaluando eh, presente simple, es la, la, el ocupar la S en el verbo principal. ¿Sí? Entonces hay que, okay. so, be careful with that. Hay que tener un poquito de cuidado con eso para no eh, tener respuestas erróneas, ¿sí? Ok, thank Veamos, you. Vea, you're welcome. Look at here, it says, number, eh, in this case, we have a doctor, we have a nurse, and we have a receptionist. So the question one says, what's his job? He's a receptionist. Number two A, what's her job? She's a doctor. Uh, what's her job? She's a nurse. And here it says, what's his job? The answer can be, he's a pilot. Look that in, the, in this case, you're using the contracted form. The other possible way to answer this question is, he is a pilot with no contraction. And the other one is, he's a pilot, again, with a dot at the end, or he's a pilot with the contracted form, but all of them capital letters. And the last choice that you can write is, he's a pilot. 
all capitals with no dot at the end and full form. Um, the next, uh, what's her job is she's a flight attendant or she is a flight attendant in the full form. Next, six, uh, what's his job? The possible answers, he's a musician with a contracted form. He is a musician, the full form. He's a musician, again, contracted. Uh, here, he's a musician contracted with capital letters or he is a musician, uh, capital letters with no contraction. What's her job? Uh, she's a singer uh, with a contraction. Uh, she's a singer with no contraction. She's a singer with contraction and a dot at the end. Uh, she's a singer uh, with all of them capitals. So you can answer this way. Number eight, what's her job? The answer, she's a judge, and you can use it with the contracted form, you can use it with no contraction or capitals, right? Number nine, what's his job? He's a police officer. You, again, you can use a contracted form or the full form, he is a police officer. And again, you can use contraction with all of them capitals or all of them capitals with no contraction. What's his job? He's a lawyer, or he is a lawyer, the full form. And again, you have contracted form with a dot, contracted form, all capitals, contracted form with not dots. 11, uh, what's his job? You can say he's a chef or he is a chef. And all the possible ways like here, uh, with dot, capitals, uh, with contraction, all of them with no contraction, the full form. And even though you can say he's a cook because they are synonyms, chef and cook are the same profession. So you can say he is a chef or he is a cook, right? So in both cases, uh, you're right. What's his job? The answer, he's a waiter or he is a waiter in the full form, capitals again, or small letters. Uh, 13, what's her job? She's a waitress, a waitress. She's a waitress with capitals and contraction or uh, with no contractions, small letters, just initial capital. And so different ways. 14, uh, what's his job? He's a salesperson. And you can combine all the ways that I already explained. What's her job? She's a cashier, right? And 16, what's her job? She's a security guard. And you can uh, combine all the possible ways with capitals, uh, contracted form, or full form. Okay, now we are going to move to the 3.3 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to sound natural with asking simple present WH questions. And here, when you go to the platform in the 3.4, you have the, the, in the pronunciation, the reduction of do and does. For example, you can say, where do you work? And you normally uh, connect the, the O of do you con el you, where do you work? Where do you, uh, what do you do? Where does he work? Where does she work? Where, um, what does she do, right? Where do you work? What do you do? So you have to listen to the, to the video and try to repeat and try to uh, perform the best you can in order to be more um, fluid in the pronunciation. No? So um, in order that you can eliminate a little bit the accent, right? The, the, the non-native speaker accent. So you have some uh, help in this video in order that you can pronounce in a very fluid way these WH questions with the auxiliary do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do, where do they work? What do they do? And give the proper intonation to the question. Then uh, we will continue with the 3.5 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form WH questions using the simple present tense. And additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. And again, here in the platform, you have the 3.6 simple present WH questions. He works in a hotel. 
Uh, maybe here is the, the exercise you were talking about. So I'm going to cover it and then we will go to the presentation that I have for you. In here it says, complete these conversations, select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. So since we are talking about WH words in order to make questions, uh, you need to, to look which fits best, right? So here, uh, the question is, how does he like it? Because the first sentence says, what does your sister do? And then my sister, she's a nurse. That's the first uh, sentence. The second, how does she like it? It's like, le gusta, como que tanto le gusta, verdad? El, el, la profesión de, de enfermería o de enfermera. So uh, the answer, it's difficult, but she loves it. Look, loves it, because I'm talking about she. So the answer, the first is how, the WH word, and the verb like, because is a question. And remember that when we have questions, we are using the auxiliary does, we don't need to add the letter S to the, to the main verb. We only do it what, when is like this, like letter B, which is a, a, an affirmative sentence. It's difficult, but she loves it. This is not a question. This is not a negative sentence. So that's why the main verb love in this case is loves because I'm talking about she. But in the first case, I'm having a question. And since this is a question, I have the auxiliary does. That's why the verb is like. I don't have to add a letter S. Um, number two, your brother, does your brother. And look at the answer because the answer provides you the key for the question. It says at the airport, he's a pilot. So the best WH that fits there is where? Where does your brother work? Because it's a question. So in this case, I have a, a complete answer. I don't have to add any S to the verb. Now, uh, next, the answer says he doesn't really like it. Again, it's like the first case. How does she like it? He doesn't, uh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Uh, number three, uh, the answer says, oh, I guess they like them. So I'm talking about my parents, so it's they. So I say, how? How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. Next, the answer says, in an office in the city. So the best WH word that fits here is where. I don't remember where do they work. Again, the verb goes without an S because I'm having the auxiliary do. In the answer, in an office in the city. Next, um, do you, I'm student. So it's what do you do, right? The best that fits there, what do you do? I'm student. Uh, next, the answer says they're good. I like them a lot. Mm, so maybe I'm talking about the class. So I'm sorry that it, here there's a mistake because it's them. It should be an M here at the end. Uh, and then instead of them, it should say them. So um, the question, uh, how do you like your classes? Dear good, I like them a lot. And that's the exercise. I don't know if you have questions about this. Or is everything okay? It's okay. Okay, perfect. So now let me continue with the next part. I'm going to share the WH questions in order to continue talking about these, uh, these words that we have been working in the simple present. Remember that the WH words are who, what, when, where, and why, how, how often, and how much. And 
as in the examples, in the exercises, you can use with the auxiliary to for the subjects I, you, for the subject you, uh, ustedes, we, and they. And we combine them with thus when we are talking about he, she, it. So I say, who do I uh, work? I mean, or who do I like? Or where do you work? Or where does he study? Why does she uh, eat? And whatever, you can do many, many combinations. But the, the idea is that when you're using the auxiliaries with the WH words, you don't have to add the letter S to the main verb. And when you have a WH word, the WH word goes before the auxiliary do or does. So the formula is WH word plus the auxiliary do or does plus the subject, subject pronoun, plus the main verb. And the main verb remains as the base, the same. It doesn't uh, take the letter S rule. So here, I'm going to expand a little bit because I need some help from you. Again, I have here the, the simple present questions. I study, you study, he, she, it studies because it's an affirmative sentence, right? But when I have a question, and no matter if this is a WH question, I don't have to add the S to the main verb. So I say, where does, he, where does he study English? When does she study English? Why does it study English? So um, the formula is here, as I was saying in the previous uh, exercise. So here I have, it says, Thomas studies English at, English at college. So this is an affirmative sentence. Therefore, you have to add the, the rule here to the main verb. So you say studies. But when I have to change it into a question, I say, where does Thomas study? So the verb is with no S. Her friend lives in London. I need, a, I need um, eight volunteers to complete this. Who wants to start? Necesitamos ocho voluntarios para intentar resolver estas nueve dificultades. Así platicadita, ¿verdad? Porque por el tiempo ya no las vamos a poder rellenar, pero las vamos a, a platicar. Y esto va a ir en el material adicional que yo le voy a mandar para que ustedes lo puedan seguir trabajando en casita. Entonces, dice, her friend lives in London. Entonces, ya sabemos que la WH word ahí es where, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo me quedaría? Where does her friend live? Where does her friend live? Yes, mm -hmm. because I'm talking about the third person, her friend, right? Maybe can be he or can be she. Thank you. Number three, Susan studies math. What does Susan study? What does Susan study? Very study. good. Study. Because we don't have to add the, the S because it's a question, right? Thank you. Number four, Eva lives in New York. What does who? Eva, who, what, who does, does Eva e live? Yeah, or could be who, who, um, who live, Eva. who live in New York, right? Uh, but, but look, vean, esta es una, esta es una, Eh, aquí arriba tenemos una prevención, ¿verdad? Lo voy a decir en español para que nos quede. Dice, who studies English? Dice que nunca preguntemos who study English, sino que se dice who studies English, right? Entonces vea que esta es una cascarita, porque entonces aquí tenemos que decir who lives, lives. in New York. Ajá, exacto. Who lives in New York? ¿Quién vive en Nueva York? Eh, este es el único que tiene esa excepción. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? Entonces, para que le pongan atención a, a esto, ¿verdad? A esta parte. Yo sé que es un poco tricky, but thank you uh, very much. Ok. His brother always gets up at six o'clock in the morning. So, the question is, when? Ok. 
Ok, como estamos hablando de his brother, what? estamos hablando de he, ¿verdad? Mm. Sería, when does, does, when does his her get brother up? get up? His brother get up in the morning y le quito el at six o'clock, ¿verdad? Entonces, la pregunta me quedaría, when does his brother get, get up, get up, sin la S, get up in the morning? In the morning. Uh -huh, exacto. Number six, Mr. Brown goes to work by bus. Entonces, aquí me preguntan, how? How does... does. Mr. Brown yes. goes to work. Mr. Brown. Go, go to work. Go, go to work. Yes, excellent. Number seven, the supermarket sells apples. So, what? What, what, what does that do? What does the supermarket sell? Sell. 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 sell? Sin la S, sell. ¿verdad? Sell. sell. Very good. Y la respuesta, eh, they sell apples, right? Okay, mm. number eight. They usually travel to the countryside on holidays. The question, where? Where do, where where do they where usually, do travel, they usually travel, travel, travel on, on holidays? Holiday? Excellent. Where do they usually travel on holidays? The answer, to the countryside. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Richard is a teacher. Uh, he teaches, nada más, ¿verdad? Entonces, podríamos preguntar, what? What does what Richard, do? Richard, Richard do? Uh, what, what does what uh, Richard, Richard, Richard teach? Uh, what does Richard teach? Ajá, ¿qué enseña? Teach, ajá, uh, teach. teach. Na, number 10. This bus goes uh, to the shopping mall. The question, where? Where does? Where does this bus go? Go, excelente, uh -huh. excellent. Very good, congratulations. You did a great, great <laughs> job. Okay, my dears, um, I have here this uh, grammar focus that says simple present WH questions and statements. And I have here some sample questions. For example, what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. What, vea que las primeras es para you, utilizamos do, pero en el tercero estamos hablando de third person singular. What does Amy do? She's a dancer, right? Where does she work? She works, cuando ya doy la respuesta, que es una oración afirmativa, ahí sí agrego el third person singular rule. She works at a dance company. How does she like it? Ese how does she like it es que tanto le gusta, ¿verdad? Um, she loves it, right? She loves it. Okay, again, I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have, some examples of verbs. But he, she works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. But remember that this is only for the affirmative sentences. Because for the questions and for the negative sentences, you have to add the auxiliary do for all the pronouns uh, and does for he, she, it. And here you will have a conversation that I would like that, to ask you to please practice at home because of the time we won't be able to complete it here, but this is a practice, an extra practice for you. And I have here another uh, chart that says WH questions with B. What's your name? My name is Beth. What's your friend? Uh, where is your friend? Excuse me. He's in class. Who's on he? She's my classmate. What are your classmate, classmates like? They are very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They are really interesting. So again, here you have a, a conversation to complete, right? So you have to practice by using a WH word question. So, uh, here I have some examples because we won't be able to continue practicing because of the time, but for example, you can ask, when do you study English? And you can say, I study English in the 
eh, at, ahí está English at, inglés corporativo, in the online English program. How often does he eat pizza? He eats pizza once a week. Where does your mother live? She lives in the countryside. Why do you think that? Because I think it's true or something like that. Who do they like it? Who do they like? They like it very much or whatever, right? So these are many combinations of WH words with the auxiliary do in, or does in order to make some questions. And here you have uh, some uh, WH simple present questions where you can, you can choose, for example, number one. What do you think is number one answer, for example? ¿Cuál creen que sería la respuesta más adecuada para el número uno? Where, la, where. where right? Huh, where. where do you live? I live in Mexico. Okay, number two. How? How does How Michael get to work? He drives yeah. to work. Very good. Number three. Why, what do How? you think is... How, 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 how are you? How, 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 how are you? I'm 23. Very good. Number four. What? what? What's what is that? that? What is that? What is that? 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 It's a what butterfly. That? Okay, mm -hmm. number five. Where? Where? Where is my cell Where is my cell phone? I think I saw it on the table. Number nine. What do you think what? is the answer? What? What's what your name? name? What is your name? name? My name is Stuart. Number ten. How were uh, why were why why did you stay home? Why did you stay home? Yes, why? why did you stay home? Because I'm asking for a reason. Why did you stay home? Because I felt sick. Okay, mm -hmm. and number eleven. What, what, what day is what day is, is, day is it? What day is it? What, it is Monday. Okay, number twelve. When? 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 You can start now. Number 13. What, 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 what time, time is it? it? What, time what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Excellent. I have more, but because of the time, I will send. Uh, I already sent you uh, the link uh, so you can click because today in the morning I upload the materials from last night and tomorrow morning I'm going to upload these materials right so you can go and click okay. the link I send you through the whatsapp group and you will find uh, the materials that I will be uploaded uh, once we finish each class the next day in the morning okay okay thank, thank you. you okay, okay my teacher. dears uh, you. do you have questions so far my dears no, no. Teacher. no, no, okay. okay, okay, excellent. Thank you very much for coming. I want, uh, I, I hope you can be safe. I would like that you can have a very nice rest tonight and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you. Teacher. Teacher. Tomorrow. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.